It's been 10 years since the Indian Ocean tsunami devastated the region, including Aceh province in Indonesia. The seawater laid waste to large swathes of rice fields. But today, recovery is well underway, and Aceh's farmers may even have more and better varieties of rice to grow. It's the result of an $800,000 research project funded by Tamasic Foundation. Saifubara Ismail went to Aceh for this week's edition of Spotlight. Six out of ten Achimis are farmers. For Nasi, it's a means of living that's been passed down for generations. The 50-year-old is not well educated but understands the value of science and how it can improve traditional farming methods. He agreed to participate in the rice project by setting aside a small plot of land for field trials in July. Results have been encouraging and even attracted the attention of neighboring farmers. Orang kepingin ibu-ibu bapa-bapa datang minta bibit segini, ya. segini meminta bibit. Suatu saat dia mau uji coba juga. Ya, saya bilang sabar dulu, belum waktunya. On December 26, 2004, a massive earthquake triggered a tsunami. Giant waves crashed into coastal communities more than five kilometers inland. About 20,000 hectares of farmland were destroyed. In 2008, the Masi Life Sciences Laboratory partnered Shia Kuala University to build capabilities in rice research. Under the four-year collaboration, researchers developed new and improved rice varieties. Two Chinese rice, Sipute and Chante Manis, were used in the project. The local rice have good quality grain but low yields and are susceptible to diseases. Through the project, researchers improved the rice varieties using marker-assisted selection. The process selects rice genes which have desired traits, for example, genes that can control higher yields and are more tolerant of diseases. These genes are then combined with those from local varieties and the outcome is a new rice variety that's superior in all areas. One of the rice line, uh, the local Argentine vine called Sipute. It's a Sipute and the grain quality is quite good and as good as the tea frequent rice. But the yield is very low, it's about 2 ton per hectare. But our input line can, through the field trial, we can achieve this uh, 6 to 7 ton per hectare. Siputi, when you grow in the thinning area, it takes about 7 months. But the input line, we can harvest at a 4 months, around 4 to 4.5 months. The new rice lines are then sown at one location as part of field trials and the results monitored. In the next phase, they will be tested in several locations. The multi-location trials have to be conducted in at least three provinces across Indonesia. The Aceh Rice Project researchers are looking at North Sumatra, Riau and Central Java. These provinces are just some of the country's rice producing areas. As part of the partnership, lead scientists from the Shia Kuala University received training on rice breeding technologies in Singapore. They say the training and funding have been useful. The Indonesian government gave very uh, great attention to improve the field of uh, molecular biology. But Indonesia also has very big area. And then also we have more than 100 national universities. So it is not easy sourcing for government to provide equipment. Indonesia is among the top five rice producing countries in the world. Nearly 70 million tons is expected to be produced this year. However, Aceh is not a major rice producing province contributing close to only 2 million tons. From the fields, rice is then brought to factories like this to be processed. This is the huge sorting machine that can separate the good grains from the bad ones. It has the capacity to sort out 2.5 tons of rice in one hour. After the rice is packed, it's loaded onto trucks and distributed to cities like Medan in North Sumatra. Seharusnya Aceh ini bukan lagi ekspor, sudah melebihi dari ekspor. Karena di Aceh ini yang memberi makan orang Sumatera Utara. Uh, Sumatera Utara mengharapkan beras dari Aceh. 
When the rice finally reaches local markets, consumers are spoiled for choice as there are many types available. The popularity of any new rice variety depends on several factors, especially price. Harga nengok dulu kualitas berasnya, tergantung nanti pengolahannya, kemasannya, dan pemasarannya. Tapi kalau masyarakat tradisional ini, dia orang tu rata-rata masih dikan memberas yang agak-agak murah. It's been six years since the research collaboration started. The training phase and single location field trials are over. Researchers will now focus on the multi-location field trials expected to be completed in 2017. The results will then be submitted to the Indonesian Agency for Agricultural Research and Development. Once the new rice varieties are approved, the seeds can then be distributed to farmers for mass production. With agriculture becoming more knowledge-based, more knowledge-intensive, suddenly it opens a new area for us to partner with people to work with companies and countries to see how we could improve our lives as a community, as a region. Um, so in the case of where technology is a resource enhancer, so if we are able to produce um, a lot more with less natural resources, not only are we able to become more sustainable in our activities, but we are able to reduce our ecological footprint. And then you can see that benefit translating across to everybody. The Archer Rice Project is just the start of many more collaborations the Marseille Life Sciences Laboratory has with other countries in the region. They've established partners in Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar and Vietnam on other rice projects using technology to enhance productivity. Technology is again a game changer in food production where rice is a staple to feed the majority of the population in Asia. Results have been positive and researchers are quietly confident the new rice varieties will be ready for mass production in the next few years. But more than that, they hope the new capabilities can sow the seeds for greater research for Aceh to harvest its potential as a major rice producing province in Indonesia. Saifubari Smile, Channel News Asia, Banda Aceh.